I'm Ken Reed with the Guide's Choice Hunting Adventure. And today we're in Marion, Alabama, hunting with my good buddy, Mike Schaefer. Now I tell you, Mike Schaefer's got a good partner of his, been friends with him for over 20 years. I'm telling you what, true American heroes have proudly served our country for over 20 years. I'll tell you what, true, true American heroes. But today it's my blessing to be able to take them to the field and see if we can put the smack down on some of these big old Alabama Tuskers. Folks, don't go away, because when we come back, man, we got one incredible show for y'all. <laughs> Folks, we're in the great state of Alabama, and guess what we're hunting today? I'm Mike Schaefer. Secretary for Safari Club International, Alabama chapter, and I'm down here with my buddy Ken Reed of Guides Choice Hunting Adventures, and my best friend in the whole world, Jim Madera. I'm Jim Madera. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm out here hunting wild hog. I'm out here with my best buddy Mike. We served uh, 20 years in the Navy together. Uh, we're like brothers. Jim's uh, currently a corrections officer out in Phoenix, Arizona, and he's moving here to to live in God's country, and I wanted to make sure that we sealed the deal by bringing him down here for a good hunt with, with, uh, with Ken. And if you're going to be able to do some good hunting, you're going to do it with Ken Reed. Um, hey, my profession is a correctional officer. It's, uh, it gets uh, stressful once in a while, and this is a good stress relief coming out here in the woods, just uh, walking around, enjoying the countryside. Uh, it gets stressful once in a while. It needs a good relief. We got down here uh, early this morning, came walking out across the fields here, and uh, it was kind of surprising. We're in a, in a large area just uh, outside of the National Forest in, on a farm. The fellow's giving us some permission to hunt here. Yeah, we was cutting all across the field, and, and, and I really wasn't expecting to see much. We got out a little too late, and there was a lot of frost on the ground. And here in Alabama, it's tough to get the hogs to come on in the green fields when, when there's frost on the ground. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of green fields. Look at there, is that a pig right there? That is, that's a hog right there. Look there, Mike. Look at that, Yeah, he's right at the edge of the woods. Is it? Hey, look down here, there's another one. There's another one? Where? Another one. Oh, sure enough, sure enough, showing up at the other end of the field. That's right, at the other end. He's okay. moving. Moving in. Yeah, that's right. Well, we we got in fight. position for the one hog, and we happened to look to the right, and there was another hog. Can't believe it. You know, I, I'm trying to get the camera set up, and I, and I turn around and look, and Mike Schaefer's standing there. I, that Yankee done turned around and ran off. But it was all right, you know, because I assured him that, that we were only about 500 yards away from that hog, and, and sure enough, he wasn't going to be able to get us. But, but uh, we went ahead, and we got Jim all settled down, you know, and, and I guess it's that, 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 that thick blood, you know, because they get a lot of cold weather up there, I guess. I don't know. Look, they look like they're going to fight. They sure are. Man, I can't believe this. Oh, We're fixing man. to have a hog fight on our hands, oh, man. man. Can you believe this? National Geographic moment here. Oh, my God. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Oh, man. How cool is that? Yeah. As we got into position, I'd promised my friend Jim if we saw one, he could get the first shot. And uh, he got down and got in position, was getting ready to pop him, and looked up, and there was another one moving toward him. Well, Jim couldn't make up his mind which one he wanted, and while he was waiting, they, they went at each other like a couple of drunk monkeys. It was, it was awesome. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? Up. They are really serious. Oh, it. he hooked the crap out of him. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Let's tell you what, let's see if we can slip up, guys. We're gonna slip up on up here a little bit more. That 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 one hog just took off and running away from the fight, so I guess the fight's over. Let's see if we can ease up here, buddy, and get you on the shot All right, come on, let's go right back away. Man, them hogs were throwing down and, and finally they broke apart. And the old Yankee says, man, it's on. Mike told him to go ahead and shoot one. The man was on the move. We're gonna have to bust the move and go cut them off. We're gonna go whack them. Okay. Let's head back over towards across the field there. Actually, we got one right here. Never seen two hogs fight like that. But uh, after the uh, 
the winner chased one off. He moved off to the side. Of course, Jim decided that the winner must be the bigger hog. Uh, I'm sure after we measure him, we'll prove that was wrong. But Okay, uh, I got him in my sights. If he stops, I can shoot him. You want to. There you go. Here's your shot. Kill him. Kill him. You got him. Yes. Good, Good, shot. Shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Thank you. Thank you. First time hunting in 20 years. <laughs> See, Mike? One bullet. Not having to run to the truck. Hey, hey. Don't pay attention to anything he said. He's a transplanted Yankee. He don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> he took about a 220-yard shot and uh, rolled him over like, like he'd been doing it his whole life. He hadn't hunted in over 20 years. First boar hunt ever was a great experience. I can't wait to do it again and move to this great state of Alabama. Is that other pet hog out there? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's still down there. He's still down there. That's what I was worried about. I said, you shot one of those close together. I figured that one took off into the woods. Yeah, that one's still just hanging out. Now, you ain't gonna try to make me take a shot from here. Or too far from Did you bring a box of bullets? <laughs> oh. Matthew, run your truck get the other box. Uncle Mike and me. <laughs> Go get the other box. You're gonna run out of bullets. <laughs> Matthew, come <laughs> I'm paying attention to that crazy old man. My hog had moved far, the other hog had moved far enough away that he wasn't terribly spooked, but he was heading toward uh, the property boundaries where we weren't allowed to hunt. So we hustled across the field, got in position, and uh, waited for him to come back to, to turn broadside. Well, instead of turning broadside, he turned around and came right back toward us. He's heading down toward the power line. That's not, we're not allowed to hunt over there. Oh, wait, he's turning back this way. He's coming across the field. Coming right out of this mic. Oh, hell. All I got is his head. All I got is his head. I can't. I can't get on him. Can you? Get him, Mike. Good. Uh, 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 uh. Get him, Mike. Kill him when you're ready, Mike. I'm on him. All right there, buddy. Oh, man. He had me a little bit worried. I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't going over there until I'm sure he's dead. As he closer he got, the more, all you could see was those cutters on either side, and they were huge. And I gotta say, I was a little bit intimidated by that. But uh, he kept coming into position. I was trying to get a shot on him. He wouldn't stop. He wouldn't turn his head to the side. I was getting ready to call it off and head back for the truck uh, when he did tip his head to one side, look over into the bu bushes off to the side. And I was able to take a shot on him and dropped him. It was incredible. What an experience. You never go wrong coming down here with the hunter, with the guide's choice hunting adventures at Ken Reed. Thanks, Ken. All right. Buddy. First hog ever. All right, Jimmy. Put him down, that's for sure. Yeah, there wasn't no doubt about it. He wasn't going anywhere. You know, I really enjoy hunting with my buddy Mike Schaefer. You know, being a Safari Club member, to me, it means a lot. That means passing on our heritage, protecting our traditions. Man, you can't ask for anybody else to go on the field with other than Mr. Mike Schaefer. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy too. Yeah.